eventually. To those of you who say that I pour water over my head. Fuck you, motherfuckers! <laughs> So you read the title of the video, we are trying a vlog today, after Instagram's poll, a lot of you want to see me just vlog and take you throughout my day, so I'm willing to try it for one day to see what the response is like. <sighs> but I will warn you that my life is pretty boring, so my thought process of these vlogs is that if I'm doing anything that involves me not being at my desk or at work, then I will just pick up the camera and record it. I don't know how long it's gonna be, I don't know how good it's gonna be, but if you like whatever style of video this video ends up being, comment down below, leave it a like. These are far easier to get up on a frequent basis so I can interact with you and bring you throughout my day. So the next time I'll probably pick up my camera will be when I get home, show you what I eat, get working, and then I know I am going somewhere after, so stay tuned for that. Now, I'm not gonna turn this into a full-blown day of eating, but I do wanna touch on the whole anabolic window post-workout nutrition thing, okay? You saw I trained fasted, and yes, I know the science shows time and time again that training fasted will impair performance. So ideally, if you want to optimize your energy and your gains, you will have some sort of a pre-workout intake of carbohydrates and or protein in order to spike insulin, spike MPS, and increase performance. But if you don't want to do that, much like I do, because that would just mean I'd have to get up like an hour earlier and allow for digestion because personally, I feel shit with food in my stomach. So in terms of adherence, that isn't really feasible for me. But the next best thing you can do if you train fasted is sort of prioritize your post-workout nutrition a little bit more than if you were to have a pre-workout meal. Because think about it, if you were to have a pre-workout meal consisting of some sort of carb or just even protein, you're gonna spike MPS and those amino acids are gonna still be in your system for like four to six hours. So if you have that pre-workout meal one hour before you train, then you train for an hour, then you can technically wait another two to three hours even after your workout because you still have those amino acids circulating in your system. But if you train fasted, you don't have that pre-workout MPS or insulin spike. So prolonging your fast after training is just stupid. I mean, how hard is it to just get in some sort of protein, even if it's just having a protein shake? Now, I'm not saying run down to the, to the locker room, like down your shake with some insulin spike and carbohydrates, but at least try to get something within you within like an hour period, as opposed to waiting two to three hours if you were to have like a pre-workout meal. So that is my mindset. I'm happy to take that slight decrease in performance, but then I'm sort of trying to make up for it by having some sort of intake straight away or within an hour after I train. So I'll show you what I make, nothing fancy, let's go. So you saw the ingredients, we're just gonna make up a simple bowl of Weetabix. So we need a bowl. Comment below if you can relate to eating out of huge salad bowls because your meals are so big. Permabulking! So I'm literally gonna have 10 of these Bixies. The poverty Weetabix from Little. Oh, the joys of being on 600 grams of carbohydrates! But that's a different video if you want me to go over my macros. For the milk, we're basically gonna make a protein milk. So we're gonna put milk in the shaker with a scoop of protein and some cocoa, cocoa, cacao. Shake it up and pour it on top. Another key ingredient I forgot to mention is chocolate peanut butter, flavor drops from my protein. Link down below if you want some high quality, affordable supplements. Always gotta get the plug in. Add a drop or dip. Ah! Pop the lid on top. Shake it all the time. Shake it all the time. Shake it, shake it, shake it, senora. Shake it left and right, right. What the fuck was, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Top it with some honey, just a little bit. Oh yes. Grab a spoon. Uh, uh. Oh shit, we forgot the cocoa. Get a smaller spoon, just a heaped teaspoon, sprinkled over the top. So there you go, family. That's my post-workout meal. I'll put the macros up there, but it's pretty much a thousand calories, well over 150 grams of carbs, and that's what I eat. So if you want a full day of eating, going over my whole approach, 
to your nutrition, my macros, then comment down below. But for now, I'll just show you this because I wanted to touch on that topic of post-workout nutrition. Also, as you can clearly see, though Instagram may make all these fit bammers meals look Michelin star, five star, woo, it always just ends up pretty much them eating a bowl of shit out of a huge salad bowl. So don't be fooled. Taste over aesthetics. So I'm gonna dig into this, get cranking into some work, and I'll check in with you later. You want transparency? There's transparency. <laughs> Tastes so good though. What is up guys? We are just going through some client emails. The majority of my Sundays today is Sunday. I just spent waiting for clients to check in along with sort of catching up on any other work that I know I'm not gonna get done tomorrow because I actually have to go back into work and college kick starts again. But I do like to take a little half hour break in between. So it's been about five hours in front of the screen. So as you saw by the title of the video, Halo Top has apparently hit Ireland at <laughs> That's me! Halo Top has apparently hit Ireland. And you know me, I am a super fan of ice cream and having a little treat in the evening. So I couldn't pass up the chance of going on a little bit of a hunt for a Halo Top. It's sort of sad when the highlight of your Sunday is going shopping for ice cream, but that's where we're gonna go now. I'd planned for it, so I thought I'd just take you along with me. Ah. And it seems to be another beautiful Irish day, two degrees, Pissing rain. Who the hell would want to be on Miami Beach in 40 degrees? <laughs> so through the magic of Vlogavision, I'm hoping this will work. Next time you see me, I should be at Tesco's. As you can see, we have arrived to destination numero uno. And my thought process here is that we need to go to the biggest Tesco branches because the likes of Stillorgan and Honey Park are the shittest Tesco's in the world. So if there's any chance of them having stock, it's gonna be here. We're in Ballybrack, if not, we're going to Dundrum. Ooh, I see ice cream. I swear, if they do not have it here, I'll be like, do you know who I am? I'm Mr. Potato. And they called it Puppy Love. We have hit the jackpot. We have a full stock of salted caramel. And then down here we have, what is it? Chocolate flavor. And not too many of those, but four euro. I was expecting them to be like 650. That's what they are on the website. So we are gonna go for two salted caramels and one double chocolate. Thank you for We have got the goods. That was too fucking easy. I was expecting it to be so much harder than that. We got a new door yesterday and we all in the family still don't know how to get through it. Down? Nope. Oh shit, the alarm. Okay, we good? I bet your phone watch are gonna call now. Ready? Three, two, one. Hello? Sorry, yeah, that was just my mistake. Potato! Now before I put these away, I actually haven't shown you the macros yet, but you will soon understand why everyone is going crazy about this, okay? So I'll put the macros for a typical Ben and Jerry's or haagen -Dazs. So in the whole tub, you're talking maybe 8 to 10 grams of fat, 60 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So for ice cream, that is just amazing. Hey, Top, if you want to sponsor me, you know where to come! Forget about Gymshark, forget about Machine Fitness, forget about my protein. Mr. Potato wants to be sponsored by ice cream. The next game is gonna be trying to find space in the fucking freezer. We already have Smarties on deck. One. Oh my god, why do I buy so much ice cream? Check in with you. Next clip. What is up, guys? We are back doing a bit of study because I'm a nerd <laughs> and I was gonna go down and make some dinner but I've realized I actually don't have anything in the house. So even though we've already been to Tesco's today, I'm gonna have to go and make a trip to the motherland so I might as well take you along with me. And if you're an OG, you know by the motherland, I mean little.
Pro tip, always bring a bag. <sighs> so guys, I'm actually gonna stop the vlog here. I don't know how long it's gonna go on for, but I'm gonna make some dinner, go back up, to that laptop, come down and cap the macros with the staple, but with a sneaky edition of Halo Top, and I'm gonna save that review for a possible other video. So, you have seen my life is pretty damn boring. I get up, I go to the gym, I do like four hours work, I have one little half hour trip, got two trips today, you lucky fuckers! Then it's just most of the time in front of the screen, so my life is fairly basic, I haven't made it yet, I am not skiing in the Alps with student aesthetics and Shred Bundy or shaking hands and kissing babies, shout out Chris Jones, but for now, I'll see you all in the next video. If you want a new vlog, let me know.